Hello everybody, welcome to Serbius Protocol. Serbius Protocol is a military RDS where you play as a military organization trying to contain and eliminate a zombie virus. In this video, I will be implementing tactics covered in this video. So we start off with a small task force on an aircraft carrier. As you can see, there are several islands and we need to determine the origin of the outbreak before we establish our FOB. Investigators MIA after searching for missing family. Woman in nerve shrubs attacking people. So based on these reports, we know the outbreak started on this island, which is connected by these two bridges. Remember this, I'll come back later. So, I'll be establishing my FOB here. Oh, and this is the field commander. If she dies, you lose the game. After building my barracks, I immediately recruited a radio operator. A radio operator allows me to call in airstrikes. When recruiting infantry, you can customize their loadout and veteran C. Of course, the higher the level, the longer it takes to recruit them. So what I'll be doing is, I'll put my radio guy on the helicopter, and I'll blow up these two bridges. Carpet bomb this area. Essentially isolating the infection on that island. Sorry civilians trapped on the island. I established a defensive position across the bridge with some watchtowers and turrets. And because fuel and ammo is a thing, I also established a resupply point. Next, I built the civilian admin zone back here to evacuate civilians. Now the thing about this game, you need to accumulate EXP to unlock new technologies. And that can only be done by killing zombies. So besides sending in sniper teams for better line of sight, I also sent in a commando unit to gain some experience. A few moments later. The unit has been lost. Shit shit, my guy's getting overrun. Retreat! Air support! While doing commando things, I have to keep my guys supplied. Moments later. So I finally gained enough EXP to unlock artillery. And with my artillery units, I began shelling zombie positions. I also unlocked the attack helicopters, and they will be providing close air support to my ground units. Attack helicopters are also incredibly effective at dealing with special infected. Oh no you don't. Go attack heli, do your thing. Bye Juggernaut. Oh, my recon drone found more special infected. I'll call an artillery strike. And another aspect of this game is to collect DNA using scientists which is necessary for R&D to be able to defeat Patient Zero which is kinda like the main enemy boss in this game. More moments later. With sustained artillery fires and close air support, I was able to push the zombies out of this zone and I'll be collecting all the DNA in this area. Every once in a while, my strike force would have to RTB to resupply, especially the attack helicopters. Also, I have unlocked better airstrikes, such as the AC-130 and White Phosphorus. Turns out, WP is incredibly effective. Ah, burn! A little longer than a few minutes later. So with enough DNA collected, this allows me to research shredder rounds via the command center. Now, it's time to hunt for Patient Zero. Patient Zero is dangerous because it can jump onto your helicopters and take them down. And it's pretty much unkillable unless you have researched shredder rounds. Using my recon drone, I scanned the entire island. Look at this cheeky bastard. Patient Zero meet artillery. Artillery meet Patient Zero. With Patient Zero eliminated, the game is essentially won. In summary, it took me 14 days, more than 67,000 people were infected, more than 3,000 died, and the rest of the world is safe. Did I do better than this guy who's paid more than 265,000 US dollars per year? Let me know.